I went viral for dyeing my hair copper in a lot of platforms. And now I'm telling you, don't dye your hair copper. Don't dye your hair at all. Today I'm going to be telling you five reasons why you need to stop dyeing your hair, damaging your hair, and putting heat to your hair and just let it grow. Let it flow. The changing point where I where I stopped dyeing my hair, if, I, if you want me to be honest with you, is whenever I started having more faith. It's as funny as it sounds, but I started to be in a more healthier space mentally. And um, I started to be more accepting of my natural self. I started accepting God into my life. I started realizing that everything he does is beautiful and how he created me is beautiful. And that's why I need to leave my natural hair color as is. I'm going to be explaining to you first the hair damaging cycle. How we go from damaging our hair and then wanting to let it grow. Damaging our hair, wanting to let it grow. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my hair history and what I've put my hair through. Then I'm going to get into the five things on why you should stop dyeing your hair. And after that, I'm going to be explaining to you how I stopped dyeing my hair and damaging it. And hopefully that helps you and you can find some new ways to keep your hair natural and healthy and luscious. We've all been there where we see a beautiful color, maybe on TikTok, on Pinterest, or just a color on somebody else. And we're like, oh, I, I want that color. Or There was a copper hair trend that I participated in and I actually went a little viral for that. But um, I hopped on the trend and I dyed my hair copper. You know, we've all been there where we see something, we want it, or we just feel like we want change, right? So we realize we want a new hair color then how much is it going to cost us it's really expensive so we're like you know what i'm going to do it on my own we try to watch tutorials see how we can do it ourselves on a cheaper price and then we go to sally's we run to sally's we love sally's right <laughs> we go to sally's we, we get excited we get that rush we're like yes we're gonna dye my hair i'm gonna look different i'm gonna look you know better uh, with this new hair color and we go to sally's we buy all these products and we feel like we're equipped to dye our own hair we you know dye our hair and then we end up we may like the color we may not but almost all the time we end up with more damaged hair than what we started with so when you put chemicals into your hair it's gonna damage it no matter if it says no bleach um you know, arrogant oil, avocado oil, whatever it says on the box. It's chemicals in the end and it's frying your hair. So after that's done, um, we, you know, realize that our hair is really damaged or, you know, we feel like it's a little, you know, rough. Um, then we see videos or we may see other girls hair that's super long, super pretty, super luscious, super, you know, shiny. And we want that. And we're like, you know what? We're going to let my hair grow. I'm going to let my hair grow. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to damage it. I'm going to just let it grow. And we do for a little bit. We do for, you know, it could be a month it could be three months it could be a year we go into the cycle and we're like you know what i'm bored of this hair i want to dye it again and then we start the whole process all over again that is the damaging hair cycle where you want to damage it for a little bit or color it and then you want to let it grow so that's the cycle that i'm talking about that we need to break we need to break and if i broke the cycle you can too so i'm gonna be telling you a little bit about my hair history and um all the damage that i've done to my hair for me i started bleaching my hair at a very young age and it started with just sorry my phone's going off it started with just like um the ends you know highlights and this and that and then i started liking it and then i did more and more and then i started bleaching full platinum card on my hair by myself imagine how crazy that was like i don't know how i did that me and my mom my mom loves dyeing hair too so we would dye it together me and my mom would help each other dye our own hair and i had bleach all over my hair and um it would hurt my scalp like after that i ended up getting like damage to my scalp and i got dandruff after that i used to not have dandruff i got dandruff after bleaching my hair one time my hairstylist told me that he had a client that did it herself 
the same thing I was doing and she ended up with a huge bald spot right here and it was permanent she could not grow hair from here anymore and i got so scared i'm like you know what i need to stop doing that he would tell me you need to stop dyeing your hair he was dead ass serious he was like you need to stop doing that because you're so pretty i don't want you to have to go through that as well like she did where she has bald spots on her scalp because of the chemical dye because of the chemical burn and um that scared me a little bit but that didn't stop me it didn't stop me i wasn't there yet um, then after the blonde, um, I stopped doing blonde for a while. Then I went into red, went into like a red hair phase. I was fierce. I was fiery. I loved it. And, um, it was, it was nice. You know, I looked good. I liked it. Then I went into the copper hair phase and then, um, I went into the black, you know, dying in black. And now I'm, I'm here where I'm at. But throughout the whole process, my hair never grew past here. I know right now you don't think my hair is long, but this is long for me. This is the longest it's been in like years. And this is the healthiest it's been in years. Um, it's, you know, it's shiny now. Well, kind of. It's still recovering because I did so much damage to it. Um, but yeah, my hair was not going past here it kept breaking off it, it wasn't looking good it wasn't thick and full like it is now so the changing point where i where i stopped dyeing my hair if i if you want me to be honest with you is whenever i started having more faith it's as funny as it sounds but i started to be in a more healthier space mentally and um I started to be more accepting of my natural self. I started accepting God into my life. I started realizing that everything he does is beautiful and how he created me is beautiful. And that's why I need to leave my natural hair color as is. And um, that's why I realized that my hair color is beautiful as is. And it's nice that I have this dark, thick, healthy hair. And I don't need to damage it to change it. I don't, I don't need to do all that to look different. Um, that's my journey with my hair. So now I'm here. I recently dyed it like a week ago. But I dyed it a dark color. Because I, I was having that withdrawal of wanting to, to, to change my hair color. It is an addiction. And we need to break that addiction. And even myself, I'm working through breaking that addiction. Because you do have withdrawal symptoms where you're like, oh, I want to dye my hair. I want to dye my hair. But you need to stop yourself and you need to control yourself and not do it okay enough of all the chit chat let's get into the five reasons why you need to stop dyeing your hair or damaging your hair or whatever it is that you're doing that's stopping your hair from growing and i haven't written down so i'm gonna look at the first one that i have um oh yes the number one reason is it is very damaging to your hair super super damaging even if it has on the label avocado oil moroccan oil you know olive oil on the garnier you know little boxes or whatever or even if you do a hair mask after it's still gonna damage your hair it, it, it damages the cuticles of your hair like um think of your hair as like a strand and when you put that chemical on your hair it um it opens up that it opens up that strand and it absorbs the the dye and the bleach and all that stuff and it changes the component of your hair and you don't want to do that to your hair because your hair is so it's meant it's meant to be just long and luscious Ooh. <laughs> sorry that scared me um you don't want to you don't want to keep doing that to your hair because it's going to dry your hair out it's going to damage it it's going to make it brittle it's going to make it rough and coarse you see my hair now it's still a little you see how it doesn't move as freely because it's damaged you know other people's hair they move it and it moves freely now my hair has a little bit more movement than it did before but it used to not always be like this it used to be stiff mm -hmm. you don't want your hair to look stiff okay so that's the number one reason why you don't want to keep damaging and dyeing your hair because it's going to dry it out it's going to make it look bad it's going to make it look not healthy okay now, the second reason you don't want to do, um, you don't want to keep dyeing your hair is that it slows down the hair growth process. So every time that you put chemical on your hair, you're causing damage to it. And when you do that, as it grows, it may still be growing from here, right? It's still 
you know nothing's affecting it from here um, but from here it breaks off because it's so brittle and it's so damaged so it's it doesn't make your hair look long it could be growing and growing every month like normal because you don't have like a rare genetic disease where you can't grow hair um, so it's still growing right but it's breaking off at the end so you don't see the growth you're like where is it going because it breaks off or the ends are really like it can be like really thin and really um like strappy looking i don't know how to say it, but it's really like you know what i mean like dangling like just like a few strands here it's not like thick cut hair no um, that's why you need to stop dyeing your hair. Now, for the third reason, yes, this one is very serious. It's a very serious reason why you need to stop doing it, at least on your own. You know, maybe go to a professional, do it at a salon, but don't do it on your own because, because you can cause permanent damage to your scalp. To your scalp. So remember how I told you that there was, my hairstylist told me about this girl that did it on her own and she would do it all the time. She would bleach her hair all the time. She ended up with a huge bald spot right here and that is really hard to deal with. It's really hard to deal with and you being so beautiful, which I'm sure you are, you don't want to have that in your hair. You don't want to deal with that every day having to cover up that bald spot or wear wigs or etc. because you damage your hair when you don't need to be doing that. It causes permanent scalp damage. For me, I used to not have dandruff and now I have dandruff. I know it could be other reasons why, but my scalp went through a lot when I would dye it. It would go through a lot every time and I wouldn't rest until I had the color that I wanted. No matter if I put my hair through hell, I was going to have blonde hair or whatever hair color I was trying to achieve. So yeah, you don't want to cause permanent damage. See my scalp now? It's nice and healthy. Not really any dandruff it's nice the fourth reason why you need to stop dyeing your hair is because natural hair is the way to go natural hair is the way to go okay you know we were made a certain type of way for a reason I'm not trying to get all religious spiritual whatever but you look the way you look for a reason and embrace that love that about yourself you know you can have blue eyes blonde hair and that's perfect you don't need to go dyeing your hair black or you can have black eyes brown eyes black hair that's also really beautiful you don't need to change your appearance all the time to fit a trend or to fit the new look or to just make your skin look lighter or you know look more tan you know you don't have to do that just embrace who you are because you are beautiful and start loving your natural your natural color and it's honestly it's very very refreshing to see a girl that has her natural look and rocks it you know now we live in a world where everything is um fake you know social media is everything's altered everything is you know just plastic and false and you want to stand out you want to be natural you want to be you be beautiful in the way god brought you into the world so now for the last reason is the fifth reason why you need to stop dyeing your hair is because your hair makes you you and makes you beautiful if you keep dyeing your hair if you keep damaging your hair and not let it grow also you're gonna look older okay so beautiful hair no matter the color no matter what shade no matter what length if it's healthy it makes you look more youthful you want to remain more youthful i don't know about you but i don't want to look older than what i am um so whenever you dye your hair you could have the prettiest shade of blonde right the the most silver ash blonde hair oh my goodness it's raining outside um you could have that but your hair could be fried and you look uglier you look older you look more beat up you look more you know wear down you don't want that so even if i don't have the prettiest blonde you know biolodge in my hair my hair is thick it's shiny it's growing it's there and that makes me look more youthful and makes me look more me makes me look more vibrant more pretty and yeah that's all the reasons why you need to stop dyeing your hair now I'm going to get into what I did, what helped me not 
continuously fall into the cycle of dyeing my hair and wanting to let it grow. Okay, so what I did is I, um, every time I would get like the urge to, to dye my hair, every time I would get like that feeling that I want to change something about me, I want to like try a new look, I would put on a wig. So if I wanted to go red, you know, I would buy a red wig. And it doesn't have to be in a crazy expensive wig. You don't have to know how to wear it, how to put it on. You don't have to know all the details. You don't have to be scared of wearing wigs. But try it out. Um, because I bought a wig. I bought a red wig. And I would put it on. And I would just, you know, look at it. Wear it around the house. You don't have to go out with it. Take pictures in it. And it would kind of fulfill my urge a little bit to change my look. So I would put on the wig and just take pictures look cute and i'll be like you know what this is nice this is a new look you can have new looks you don't have to just stay boring you know your natural whatever you can change looks you can apply wigs you can do different hairstyles you can you know i bought today oh i don't know where i left it but today i bought this um ombre biologic ponytail where i'm gonna do two ponytails right here and i'm gonna take pictures and i'm gonna look cute and i'm gonna rock it for a day rock it for you know a while around the house if i'm too scared to go out which i'm not but if you are scared to go out with a wig or with weave in your hair it's completely fine you can um, slowly get into that just while your hair grows because you don't want to keep damaging your hair every time you want to go blonde every time you want to go red every time you want to do pink you don't have to do that you can buy wigs and you know fulfill that urge that crave to change your look you can do that by um by the wigs so that's one thing that I did that helped me. Wigs helped me a lot. Another thing that I did was to be more um, more accepting of who I am, more self-love, which is a whole nother process, you know, a whole nother process of self-love and all that good stuff. But those are the two main things that I did to let my hair grow. Oh, and then I also started taking care of it, like oiling it, um, oiling it, doing masks, coconut hair masks, all that. I did to my hair and, and after I started to see the, the the length and the growth I started to be like you know what I'm gonna leave it alone I'm not gonna ruin what I have going on so just give it give it six months take really good care of your hair don't touch it don't cut it unless you have really you know brittle ends don't damage it try not to put heat on it try to keep it without heat do heatless hairstyles apply wigs all that good stuff for six months and see the growth see the results and you know maybe it'll motivate you to stop stop dying it continuously if you need help on um, certain hairstyles how to apply a wig I have videos that I will link below I have a lot of videos on how to do different hairstyles that are really few, really cute and fun and that is all that I have to say for today stop dyeing your hair let it grow okay <laughs> please do that please do that I'm saying from the bottom of my heart because I, and I did it myself because I have plenty of videos. If you look at my YouTube, I have plenty of videos where I would damage my hair a lot. And you can see the month that I uploaded it, and the next month it was another color. The next month another color. It, I didn't even like lie about the dates. No, it's it's there. That's live, real time. And I'm telling you from my experience, don't do that. I went viral for dyeing my hair copper in a lot of platforms. And now I'm telling you, don't dye your hair copper. Don't dye your hair at all. I really hope you enjoyed my video. I really hope that I was able to um, give you another perspective on dyeing your hair at home. I really hope that I was able to, you know, kind of plant a seed in your head that you shouldn't apply all those chemicals to your hair, that you should let it grow. Well, until the next video, and please subscribe if you like my content. If you didn't, um, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Bye.